Here we go, live from last week, episode 13, let's go! Welcoming my fellow jaywalkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Gonna start off this March 16th segment with some birthday greetings. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to Andy. I remember playing select soccer with this guy and him being a solid human being, solid player, solid teammate, and him setting up goals with his talented Ukrainian feet. I wish you a happy birthday, Andy, and continued dominance of Bayern Munich in the Bundesliga. And I got another birthday shout out to one of my high school friends, Duran. Happy birthday, bro. I remember playing basketball with you in the HT gym. And every time you would put up a shot, you'd say, what? Whether it went in or not. And I always liked that confidence about you. Anyways, Duran, hope you have a great birthday. And I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. But continuing on with it being March 16th, my wrestling fans out there know that it's 316 aka austin 316 day that's the bottom line because so with the magic of video editing i'm going to go and change my shirt to commemorate the day how does it look also went to the store to buy this baby so i could do a quick video clip for you guys so before the fiance comes home in a couple of hours let's go try it out p.s i've always wanted to do this so hopefully I can do this scene quickly before the fiancé finds out. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna clean this up. I promise. <laughs> Top of the morning to ya! Just want to wish everybody out there a happy St. Patrick's Day. Which also means a happy birthday to Mary! I remember first meeting you through my fiance at V Supper Club for one of our friend's birthdays. And look at you, you got your own YouTube channel now. So everybody go check it out and support a fellow YouTuber. Anyways Mary, I hope you have a great birthday and that you're celebrating St. Patty's Day as well. But continuing on the theme for St. Patty's Day, I got my Irish Mode t-shirt on. So I'm definitely ready for St. Patty's Day. And in preparation for St. Patty's Day today, we'll be going to the fridge to get my beer and we'll go to the freezer to get my frosted beer glass and now it's time to pour what's called an eye opener Ooh, don't go don't go and to commemorate what one of my childhood friends Shaughnessy would always cheers to me and say never above ya never below ya Always beside ya. Slide Shiva. Cheers. Salud. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. <sighs> so I'm out right now on a quick St. Patty's Day run because I saw this ad on Facebook for a $10 pull-up bar. So this uh, spontaneous Facebook marketplace buy, I'm going to try to get it before the fiance wakes up this morning. Well, I guess it's just out here. I'll put my money in the mailbox for a contactless pickup, I guess. Shoot, did not think this one through. How the hell am I gonna bring this on the motorcycle? Ta-da! Oh my gosh, I just filled up on 11 bucks. That's a new career high. All right, time to go home and put the pull-up bar in the locker before the fiance finds out. After waking up from my post-night shift nap after my first of my three night shifts, and before I go for my second of my three night shifts tonight, just wanna let you guys know, it's that time of year again. 
It's the NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Championship Tournament. And after many years of going against my fiance, year after year after year, and having her beat me each and every year, I think this will be the year that I will win and her streak will end. And this year, going to the national championship, I'm gonna pick Lowville. Wait, hold up. What do you mean they didn't make it to the tournament? Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Then I'm gonna go with my other favorite, Duke. Let's go Duke. Wait, what do you mean they also didn't make it to the tournament? Don't worry, I'm just kidding. But let's get to my picks of this year's tournament. Feel free guys to print out a bracket of your own, fill it out, and see if you can predict who's gonna be this year's national champion. So yeah, let's go check out my predictions. Final Four has got me picking Illinois, the Ohio State, Gonzaga, and Yukon. And for the national championship, I got Gonzaga versus Illinois. With the winner being, drumroll, Illinois. So for everybody that's making their picks this year, best of luck to ya. But for me, I've got Illinois. This year, fiance, believe it or not, your streak is coming to an end and you're going down. So I'm feeling pretty tired today, but before I go in for my last of my three night shifts, I just have one birthday greeting. Want to wish a happy birthday to Kayla. I remember back when you were in nursing school and we went out to the clubs with you, Chriselle and all of them, to now seeing you doing those postpartum pandemic workouts. To me, I find it very inspirational. So you keep that up, you have a great birthday, and hope you and the baby are doing well. After my three night shifts, I feel pretty tired, but I'm gonna use my time to stay indoors and go grocery shopping. Actually, grocery store hopping. City time! So, just got back from my Asian grocery store shopping hopping, but I had to go home early because I felt really tired after only having a three hour post night shift nap. But before I pack it in tonight, I do have one more birthday greeting for ya. Just wanted to wish Kana a very happy birthday. I remember meeting you for the first time when I was your CA back at Wysik when you were rooming with Matt and Alona. And now I see you have a family of your own and you're raising a little one. I hope you and your family are doing well at this time and you have a great birthday, Kana. So I'm just gonna apologize to you guys in advance because I forgot to wish you guys a happy first day of spring. But before I go on with my day, just wanna wish a happy birthday to Scott. This guy over the years who I've been playing beach volleyball with as well as some indoor volleyball always wants me to spike it at him whenever I get the chance. But I never seem to do and I just pick the spots on him. So I'm sorry for that, Scott. Anyways, man, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe and I hope to play you in the beach sometime soon. Happy birthday once again. And before I go in for a random night shift tonight, the parents have told me that they're in the area and they want to meet me so I can pick up some food from them. 
So I guess I'm gonna take advantage of this and do a reverse delivery. Choy, the sabao for the ba choy, lasagna, the nuguan, more lasagna. Cool. So, after my night shift last night, I came home and I was only able to sleep um, less than three hours during the day. And unfortunately, even though the weather was amazing outside, I just had no energy to go out and enjoy the day. So, I guess I'll just stay in and wish some people a happy birthday. Want to wish a happy birthday to Judy May. Thanks for having me over when I was in the Philippines back in 2013 to meet Jam Jam and Noi Noi. I hope you're doing great and that you're celebrating your birthday well with my nephews back in the Philippines. Happy birthday again, Judy May. I also have a happy birthday greeting to Gerald. I'm remembering the times back in 2011 when we went to World Youth Day back in Spain and seeing you on the odd occasion whenever I'm in Mississauga attending the St. Martin of Tours Mass. I hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy, and you have a happy birthday, Gerald. I also want to take this time to congratulate one of my childhood friends, Antoine, for welcoming a new baby girl into this world earlier today, meaning that this guy's an uncle. I'm so happy for you, bro, and I can't wait to visit you guys and see her when this pandemic is over. Anyways, it's almost the end of the episode, meaning it's time for the lesson of the week. guys enjoyed that lesson and that you'll use it sometime in the future. Anyways, it's the end of the episode, so be sure to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified for new episodes coming from Jaywalker POV. I want to thank you guys again for watching, stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.